I'd like you to sit quietly and close your eyes. Envision yourself in a halo of glowing white light. It will protect you. The year before the Lutzes moved in, a young man named Ronnie DeFeo had brutally murdered his entire family in this house. We'd hoped to discover if the killings had been motivated purely by anger, or if, as Ronnie DeFeo testified in court, he had been under the influence of something demonic. Now we're going to talk to my next guest, Dr. Steve. Why is that? Well, it's been well established that Amityville was a blatant hoax, but that hasn't well, never stopped been proven. Uh, yes, it has. The Lutz family made everything up so they could profit off of all the publicity. It's very easy to sit on the outside and pick apart their story, but it's something very different to have been there and experienced it for yourself. <laughs> I don't need to go to the moon to know that it's not made out of green cheese. Listen, Ed Warren's never seen a house that he didn't think was haunted. And somebody else believing in ghosts, too. What exactly are you a doctor of, anyway? Come on, Warren, try and show a little class. I'm not going to show class as somebody who's sitting here telling lies about my wife and Be me. Be careful who you call a liar. What are you going to do about it? We go on these shows to inform people, but every time I open my mouth, another one of these little Ed. ass academics pops up, tries to undo everything we've done. Could you please take I a know, breath? I know, I know, I know. I'm counting to 10. I'm counting to 10. Honey? What's wrong? Mom. Who's that? Go back. Your name gives me dominion over you, demon. 